Yo, what is going on YouTube and what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing today, man? Today we're back here with another donation request. Gonna be checking out Mass Romantic from The New Pornographers. Okay, so this one I believe has Miss Nico uh, Chase in it. So let's go ahead, or Nico K, sorry. Uh, Miss Nico Case in it. So let's go ahead and read this off. It says, hi, besides being a solo artist, Nico Case has been in a band for over 25 years, man. Uh, that's called The New Pornographers. She shares lead vocals in the band with a male singer named Carl Newman. This is a great track from them released in 2003, The New Pornographers, Mass Romantic. Okay, so now we've got her sharing vocal duties. Uh, we know that she's an amazing guitar player as well. Uh, so I don't know. We'll dive in, see what sound we're getting here. She's sharing lead vocal duties. We know that she's got a great sound herself, but he's saying she's been in the band for 25 years now. So I'm trying to remember if there was a year on the live performance that I saw of her recently. Um, and I don't know if that's when she was with them. So maybe she still does like some solo stuff on the side, or maybe it's pure, purely with the band nowadays. I don't know, but let's go ahead and dive into this one. Appreciate the donation request, man. Thank you for supporting the band or the channel and the band, I guess, in that way, man. Awesome stuff. Let's go ahead and check this one out. Before I do, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out the description, man. Here we go. different here. This is totally different than the other stuff. Good riffs.
Hey man, you brought me something new, and I thought it was something exciting, man. That's dope stuff. They sound, they got a good sound here. They've got a good sound here. Nico Case, totally bringing out a different side, right? Not sounding like the first two songs you've introduced me to right here. We got into a rocker side of them. Loving the sound, man. They've got a great, like, quality sound throughout this track, man. Like I said, the way the cadences flow on the verses into the harm or into the choruses, uh, I like it, man. There's just something they, they have it higher than they drop down, uh, lower on the second line when they're talking about radio again. I don't know how to describe the musical terminology that well, but I, I understand what I'm hearing is good. Okay, um, then you go into the gentleman's voice who you said is Carl Newman. Bro, I've listened to a lot of like older music, some people like to classify it hippie music, whatever. The 60s, like, uh, flower child kind of music, man. And some of this had some of those qualities in it at points, man. More like the bridging sections, of the slowdown sections. And Carl Newman's voice, okay, he reminds me, like, he would flow perfectly on a song from the 60s, which is a compliment to me because this is kind of merging different styles into one like i said I, I thought there was a sprinkle of beach boys on the harmonies uh carl newman's voice and some of the slow down section took me back to like the 60s music but then she's got this more punk rocky uh female quality to her and and the sections that she's singing in. i like the way they put this together they kind of stitched this one together it worked for me completely maybe it's because i've grown to appreciate and enjoy many styles of music and just feeling different elements here i might be the only one but please let me know if you guys are feeling that too, the different elements of musical history that are kind of put into this song, man. So let's learn a little bit more about Mass Romantic. All right, so what we learned about Mass Romantic right here is it's also the name of the album from the indie rock power pop group released in 1998 and goes to 2000. Okay, so that's what we got right there. It goes on to say up here that Mass Romantic is a debut studio album by the Canadian indie rock supergroup The New Pornographers produced by David Carswell and the band bassist John Collins. It was released on Mint Records on November 28, 2000. The album was three years in the making. The musicians A.C. Newman and Dan Bejar writing songs as early as 1998. So I guess that's where that goes back to. It says, with encouragement from peers, they recorded an album with other Canadian musicians from the groups, including The Evaporators, Zampano, and The Destroyer, or just Destroyer. All right, so I was reading through the lyrics right here, trying to really get an idea of what we're talking about. It's maybe a little um, more straightforward than I'm thinking, but I really can't find too... I really can't decipher the meaning of the song uh, right now. I don't know. I've been reading through this a little bit, and I'm like, I don't know what exactly what we're talking about, right? Uh, it's talking about Sterling, Stolen Virtue, his books on tape ring true. Mass Romantic Fool separated by sheets when the curtain calls you speaking on the themes of Stolen Virtue missing from the radio. So I don't know. Maybe somebody who doesn't enjoy the radio... Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm struggling to think about it. So if you guys want to share with me your thoughts on what Mass Romantic is about, I'd appreciate that greatly, man. Well, thank you guys for rocking out with me. Thank you very much, Mr. Thorndike, for the suggestion, man. Appreciate you as always, brother. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the description if you guys are rocking with the channel. I hope y'all enjoyed this, man. I thought it was a rocking song. I thought it was really good in my own taste, man. So appreciate that. Uh, great suggestion. Great suggestion, man. Don't forget that you can become a member here on my YouTube or Patreon for as little as three bucks if you choose to want to support the channel in that way, man. Thank you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.